All right, that's a good question. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. Someone in the military. And they're having trouble trying to square their belief systems with being in the military and then having the potential of knowing that they may have to actually shoot and kill someone uh, because they only went into the military because, uh, you know, poor, come from a poor family and the military has offered them a, um, a means by with when they contribute money, um, they can possibly uh, go to college and hope for a better life. So, Pastor Dow, how do I square my mind with it? Well, in the military, oh, I hate when I see screws in the road. God mercy. In the military, there's a thing uh, that they have that some people call themselves conscientious objectors, okay? Um, and I can understand that. First of all, number one, it comes from the false belief system of Christianity of uh, misapplying the commandment that says, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill simply means you shall not murder. That's what it means. Murder is meaning you're taking somebody's life in cold blood. When you're in a war, you're not taking somebody's life in cold blood. That's exactly what it was. You think about uh, the history of the Bible. Um, uh, my people, the Israelites, every time you turn around, they were fighting someone. And they would even ask God, could they go fight them? And then they would get approval from him. And, and then they would go kill them, kill many, many, many people of other nations. And then you looked at King David, a man right off the y'all's own heart. And yet and still, you're going to see him in the kingdom. And he killed many, many people. You see, it's about being able to apply the truth of the word lawfully and righteously. You know, it's unfortunate, but I guarantee there's not probably two millionaires, you know, in the military. <laughs> people from, you know what I mean, uh, in the enlisted ranks. I can guarantee you that. But, um... You know, you're, you're not doing anything unlawful um, that would jeopardize your eternal life if you have to kill someone um, while in service. Um, the commandment should be translated so it will stop bringing a bunch of confusion. And the right way is you shall not murder. That's the proper interpretation of that commandment. Hope I was able to help. I wish I had someone like me that was teaching the truth when I was in at that young of an age, it saved me a lot of heartache from a lot of things.